handicapper steve here handicapping the racing from maidan race course here on friday it is the 4th of february 2022 we're gonna look at all the races on tonight's program from maidan but before i get on to that remember to please follow me on twitter at horse racing kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world and i mean around the world let's look at all the races on tonight's program starting off with the opener from maidan it is the group one amaktum challenge round two for the purebred arabians it's going for a purse of fifty five thousand dollars race for five rolls and upwards we have six horses going 1900 meters or a mile three sixteenths on the main dirt course as a top selection here we'll take the three horse harab as a top selection we'll go three one six in the tri cash trifecta three one six tri cash trifecta top selection three horse harab this um seven-year-old horse here um ray dawson gets the mount the horse's most recent outing in the 24th of January at Abu Dhabi on a good turf course in a conditions race, 2200 meters, mile three eights there, and he finished fifth, sixth by five and three quarter lengths. And he just never really had anything going. I do think the trip was a little bit too long. Don't think he really liked the dirt, and he just never had something going. Cutting back to a mile three sixteenths, where she ran decently two back, back to dirt. I think he really ran a good race. Two back in the 16th of December here at Maidan uh, in a group two over the 1900 or mile three sixteenths where he finished second by five lengths. The winner was much the best, but this horse was closing up well, but like I said, the winner was just much the best off, this, uh, off the bench. And then before that, the 5th of December at Abu Dhabi in a group one for purebred Arabians over the 2200 meters or mile three eights on the turf, of course, finished 10th by 17 lengths and just ne never had anything. Really didn't get good position there either. And then prior to that at Abu Dhabi on the 7th of November uh, in a conditions race, 2200 meters, mile three eights there. He finished second by five and a quarter lengths and again he just kind of stuck but just didn't have the momentum kind of hit the wall he doesn't want to go to 2200 meters or mile three eights he wants to go mile and a quarter at the most mile three sixteenths really in his alley today has some friendly pace has run decently on dirt in his short offerings there i think he could really run a good race at four to one let's take him you can't throw out the one horse barack he really ran a good race in the maktoum challenge round one a few weeks ago come back here to the mile three sixteenths off the bench we'll give him a shot also on the ticket but i think rob is sitting on that very good race finally but to recount my selection for the opener from made on the Tomb Challenge Round 1 for the Purebred Arabians. Let's take the three horse Rob. We'll give kudos to the one horse Barack. 316, Tri Cash Trifecta. Let's go 3 1 in the place pot of the multi race wager. Let's get to the second. The second race from Maidan, it is the Oud Metha Stakes. It's a conditions race going for a purse $60,000. Race for three-year-olds and upwards. Six horses are going 1,200 meters or six furlongs on the dirt course. We're going to take the four horse taking names as a top selection. We'll go 415 in the Tri-Cash Trifecta. 415 Tri-Cash Trifecta. Top selection of four horse taking names. Three-year-old Colt by Arrogate. Andre Adesini's on this one for Doug Watson. The horse's most recent appearance, see, uh, first star of the, see, of the year, in the 14th of January here made on six furlongs in a conditions race on the dirt he finished fifth by 18 lengths there and he didn't have the best beginnings which cost him he it never really settled well from the inside that day he never could get the turn of foot and it just wasn't his day to win he showed potential before that where he broke today he's gonna have to break he has four really pace if he wants to use it I think he could go a long way two back they tried him over the seven furlongs here made on a conditions race on the 16th of December where he finished fourth by four and a half lengths he was with him early on but then just like the good turn of foot at the final furlong I do you think the seven was just a little bit too long from that afternoon and then the debut in a main race here made on in the 18th of november over the six furlongs he won by eight and a quarter lengths and basically had the speed to win from a tracking position he quickened up nicely and kept going coming here today back to six if he breaks well i think he could really run a good race you can't throw at the one horse rudy trigger also seven to five here he's coming from south america from argentina and uh, keep in mind he's a four-year-old uh, facing the three-year-olds here today so he gets that um the little bit of advantage here but um you know he, he's really run these good speed figures down there he's a very speedy horse. He's won his last few races by double digits, uh, nearly double digits. I think he could really run a good race, but he's going to have to overcome a high weight. He's not carrying 137 pounds, which is ginormous uh, if you look at the other horses. My other horse, uh, take my names, my top selection, is only carrying 121 pounds, so he's getting a nearly 16-pound break between uh, Rudy Trigger, but he's run these good races. You have to definitely use him on the ticket. He has a serious, um, he could seriously win on the ticket, but three count my selection for the second race from Maidan. It's the old Metha Stakes, or the old Metha Stakes. Let's take the four horse taking names. Give kudos to the one horse, Rudy Trigger. 415, Tri-Cash, Trifecta. 4-1 in the place, Potter of the Multi-Race. Let's get to the third.
the third race from Maidan. It is the Jumeirah Classic. It's listed stakes going for a purse of $150,000. Race for three-year-olds only. Seven horses are going 1,600 meters or a mile on the Maidan dirt course. I'm going to take here as a top selection the five-horse New Science. Let's go 573 in the Tri-Cash Trifecta. 573 Tri-Cash Trifecta and all good Alfin Trifecta. But the top selection is a five-horse New Science. It's three-year-old Colt by Lupe de Vega. Good Alfin Don. Charlie Appleby trains. William Buick gets the leg up. The horse's most recent and came in Paris on the 5th of September at Longchamp, yielding ground seven furlongs in the Group 3 pre La Rochetta, and the horse finished fourth by one and three quarter lengths there. And you know, he just really couldn't get a good turn of foot. He settled well early on from track position, but he just never got going late. Do you think the yielding ground got to him? His two worst races have come on very wet ground. Uh, coming here a very quick round, well, not lightning quick, but not lightning soft like he's been seeing in France and at York. I think he could uh, really run a good race, or Ascot, shall we say. Two back here on the 24th of July at Ascot, very fast ground, seven furlongs and listed stakes in July. He won by a length there, and he basically sat back early after not the best beginnings, slowly moved his way forward. When he got the lead, he kept going. He won it in hand at the 16th pole. Very, very good race race of his life. And then before that, to 19th of June, I've asked, got seven furlongs and listed stakes. He finished seven by 11 lengths, you know, just on very wet ground. He wasn't excelling there. He, his wheels were spinning and just never getting a good piece of it. Uh, and then the debut at Yarmouth, 20th of May, seven furlongs and a novice race. He won by one and a half lengths, and he won easily late. But early on, he broke horribly, but uh, and that really cost him. But then after that, he settled well and kept going, and all around good race. Coming here today on good ground has really run these best speed figures on anybody out of any other horses winning uh, wins at even money. Let's use him. If there's a horse that could possibly upset, it could be the seven horse Sovereign Prince, the stable mate here. He's one of his last two. One at Epsom in September very nicely, and one here uh, in the, during the first week of the carnival very nicely. But uh, he's going to have to jump quite a few speed figures to beat him. But um, it, it wouldn't surprise me. We'll use him on the ticket also. But, um, you know, New Science looks very hard to beat also. But to recap, he's selection for the third from Maidan. It's the Jumeirah Classic. Let's take the five horse New Science. We'll give kudos to the seven horse Sovereign Prince. Five, seven, three. Tri Cash Trifecta. Five, seven in the multi race of the place pot. Let's get to the fourth. Back to the dirt. The fourth race from Maidan, it is the Group 3 Fire Break Stakes. It's a Group 3 event going for a purse of $150,000. Race for four-year-olds and upwards. We have eight horses going the distance of ground to 1,600 meters or a mile on the dirt course. We're going to take here the number two horse hypothetical as a top selection. Let's go 273 in the Tri-Cash Trifecta. 273 Tri-Cash Trifecta. Top selection the two horse hypothetical. Five-year-old horse by Lupe de Vega. Miguel Barzalona gets the mount. Most recently, the random in the Maktoum Challenge round one a few weeks ago off the bench over the mile trip here at Maidan he finished 12 by 33 likes and absolutely needed the race there usually he runs well off the bench but that day he just he just showed nothing he, well he showed a little bit early on but then he kind of hit the wall it wasn't his day to win better post draw lesser quality horses I think he should really improve off the last race two back around the World Cup here at Maidan on the uh, 27th of March over the mile and a quarter he finished fourth by six and a quarter likes he was with them early on setting the pace he got caught by Mystic Guide and uh, and the second place finisher but he still ran his hard out there and then prior to that the McToom challenge round three here made on on Super Saturday over the mile and a quarter he finished second by two and a quarter lengths so soldier got to him but this horse was running decently um, you know before that he went over in a handicap here made on with a high weight but he still won on the front end very good run he could show some pace or he come from his tracking position I think it's a good pace in front of him so I think in a tracking position today early on should really suit him well at six to one we'll give him a shot for redemption from that last run your second leg loose winner here is a seven horse Tuz um, you know, he won here in a list of six in December very, very nicely. And uh, some of his races, he wasn't winning here last year, but he was always running these good on bang places. Um, you know, coming here and six to five, we'll definitely use him on the ticket. But I think hypothetical will bounce back from his last disaster. But to recap my selection for the fourth from Maidan, it's the group three fire break stakes. Let's take the two horse hypothetical. Give kudos to the seven horse Taz or Taz 273 Tri Cash Trifecta 27 in the place pot. Let's get to the featured fifth race. The featured fifth race from Maidan, it is the Group 2 Al Maktoum Challenge Round 2. It's a Group 2 event going for a purse $350,000. Race for three-year-olds and upwards. A dozen horses ago, 1,900 meters or a mile 316s on the Maidan dirt track. I'm going to take as a top selection here the number seven horse, the Great Collection. Let's go 7118 in the Tri-Cash Trifecta. 7118 Tri-Cash Trifecta. Top selection, seven horse, the Great Collection. This eight-year-old gallon by St. 
Saint Aden. Pat Hasgrove gets them out for Doug Watson. The horse's most recent out of came the Maktoum Challenge Round One here at Maidan over the mile trip on the 14th of January. He finished fourth by five and a half lengths there, and he sat back early. He had a decent turn of foot late, but it wasn't anything spectacular. I do think he does his better around a two turn mile three sixteenths mile a quarter. He's going to get that today. He should see a good pace with, and I think he really run a good race and improve off the last run. Two back in the list sticks here at Maidan. One mile on the 16th of December. His seasonal reappearance. He finished third by one and a half lengths. Again, he sat back early, but really closed up well. I didn't think it was a half bad race. And then prior to that, they were saying their heights just a little bit too high in the World Cup here at Maidan. A mile a quarter on the 27th of March. He finished seventh by 13 lengths and just really never had anything. Ran before then the Maktoum Challenge round three where he finished fourth by six lengths. But placed in this race last year where he's just a little bit too wide, but he was really closing up well last year uh, at the end of the race. You know, he, he comes from mid-pack. He should get a good trip here today. He's drawn well. It's six to, a 10 to 1. Let's give him a shot. Don't throw out the 11 horse. Uh, Hot Rod Charlie. William Bukes on this one for Doug Watson. Uh, for Doug O'Neill, excuse me. It's four old Colt by Oxbow. Most recently ran at Santa Anita on the 26th of December in the San Antonio where he finished second by a nose. And at 20 cents a dollar, he just couldn't keep up late. Express Train just had the jump on him. But he ran his heart out. He had a very tough 2021 campaign. Starting off where he won the... Um, Louisiana Derby of the mile 316, same distance as today. Very good third place finish in the Derby. Ran the race of his life in that hat in the uh, Belmont uh, Stakes, uh, where he lost, but placed that day behind essential quality. Uh, and then, you know, he won the Haskell, but because of interference, he. You know, I had to be DQ'd out of it. Uh, and then won the PA Derby very, very nicely. But he can be a little erratic at times. If he can keep the straight course, he can win. At 4-5, to five, we'll give him a shot on the ticket. But he might need the race coming from the States first start over here. He's only been over for about 10 days or so. So, you know, I have questions with him. Also, he's had a very tough 2021 campaign. Coming into 2022 today, did it take a little bit? He might have needed a little bit of extra time. That's my biggest question with him. I think the great collection is better value. But it wouldn't surprise me if Hot Rod Charlie wins by a dozen. But to recap my selection for the fifth from Maidan, it's the group two, Al Maktoum Challenge, round two. Let's take the seven horse to rate collection. Give kudos to the eleven horse, Hot Rod Charlie. Seven, eleven, eight, tri cash trifecta. Let's go seven, eleven in the place pot or the multi race. The sixth race now from Maidan. The sixth race from Maidan, it's the Albastica trial. It's a conditions race going for per $60,000. Race for three-year-olds only. We have a field of 13 horses, a baker's dozen going 1,900 meters, or a mile three-sixteenths on the dirt course. I'm going to take as a top selection here the 12 horse of Violent Justice. We'll go 12, 9, 13 in the Tri-Cash Trifecta. 12, 9, 13, Tri-Cash Trifecta. Top selection, 12 horse of Violent Justice. The three-year-old called by Violent. Pat Dobbs is on this one for the Watson. The horse's most recent outing came the 24th of December at Jebel Ali. Seven frongs in a main race, and he won by 10 lengths that day. And basically, you know, he settled well on the backpack, slowly moved his way up. When he got the lead, he kept going. And Jebel Ali's a tough place to, to win that easily, but he kept going up that hill because it's a very tough final furlong there. It's basically a pill like that. And, uh, you know, it, it, when horses win like that, that means uh, they're a bit real deal. Coming here today, mile 316 should suit him well. Gonna have to overcome a wide poster, but I think he has enough forwardly pace to do that. I think he's sitting on a very good run. His debut came here on the 2nd of December at Maidan, 7 furlongs in a main race, where he finished 6 by 4 and 3 quarter lengths there, and he just never really got going. with a little lax days goal. First start as a 2-year-old. I do think he needed the race. He had a little 2-year-old antics there, but he really improved with the Jebel Ali race last time out. His speed figure can definitely win against these horses. Even his loss could win against these horses. A 5-2, let's use him. Don't throw out the 9-horse secret image. Um, he ran in November most recently, Wolverhampton in the UK over the uh, Tapita, mile 3 16 in a novice where he placed that day by neck. Uh, the winner just went a little bit better than him, but this horse was settling well and had a decent turn of foot, but he, he just needed something late. Uh, and then before that, he won over a good win in October over in a novice race over the 1800, winning by nose. Again, he was on the front end. You know, he's, he was decreasing margin victory, um, the, the, the margin of victory is decreasing late, but he still got the job there done on very wet ground. The distance shouldn't be a problem. Big, biggest question with him today will be the wide poster. 13-13 going 1,900 meters or mile 3 16th here at Maidan. Could be very difficult at times, but he does have some speed if he wants to use it early on. We'll definitely use him on the ticket also. But to recap my selection for the six from Maidan, it's the Abastika trial. Let's take the 12 horse Violent Justice's top selection. Give kudos to the nine horse Secret Image. 12, 9, 13, Tri Cash Trifecta. 12, 9 in the multi race. Let's get the nightcap now from Maidan.
The nightcap, the seventh race from May 9, it's the Group 2 Balanchine Stakes. It's a Group 2 event going for a purse of $180,000, race for 4-year-olds and upwards. We have a field of 10 horses going the distance of ground of 1,800 meters or a mile one eighth on the turf course. It's always been one of my favorite races at the carnival. You always just see some great fillies run and mares running this one. My top selection, I'm going to go with the two horse, Creative Flare. We'll go 2 10, 8 in the Tri-Cash Trifecta. 2108 Tri Cash Trifecta, Top Section 2 Horse, Creative Flair. This four year old Philly Bed Bowie, Good Alvin Darwin, Charlie Alpy Trains, and William Buell gets them out. Most recently, they ran the horse stateside here in New York at Belmont, Mouth Rates, and that Jockey Club Oaks. And the horse finished fourth by three and three quarter lengths there. And, you know, he's really, you know, didn't have the best beginnings, you know, sat with them early on, but just couldn't stay the mile through eights. Do you think getting two furlongs left over the mile in the eighth should suit her well? And I think, of you know, with a better post drop, I think the horse is going to really improve off that last run. Two backs to run the horse in the grade three Saratoga Oaks at Saratoga. Mile three sixteenth on the Mellon Turf course on the 8th of August. The horse been a third by two lengths there. Sat back early, a little bit of a turn of foot wait late, but it wasn't anything spectacular. And then before that, in the 18th of July, Shunti, uh, mile eighth in the pre uh, glow close Sticks. She finished third that day by uh, a neck. It was an all-out finish. She was on the front end. She just couldn't stay up there late, but she ran her heart out on very demanding ground. And then prior to that, six weeks uh, prior at Newberry Mill Court on the list of stakes, she won by a half a length. The only time she had blinkers, the headgear run that day. She won for fun and, uh, you know, a small margin of victory, but she got the job done there. Uh, and then before that at York in a Phillies list of stakes in May, she finished second by three lengths. And again, the winner just ran a little bit better. Coming here today, very fast ground, not the world's top this race i think at nine to five she can really run a good run so we're gonna use her on the ticket along with the 10 horse here wedding dance james doyle's on this one for charlie out being a dolphin most recently in the cave birdie here a month ago she finished third by one quarter length and she just couldn't get going do you think she needed the race off the bench if she could run a race like the wolverhampton or the doville race in august that she ran in 2020 she could definitely win against these horses seven to one we'll give her a shot on the ticket but i think the other good dolphin horse is the classier one who should get the jump on her late but to recount my selection for the seven from maidan it's to group two bound Shine. Let's take the two horse creative flair. Give kudos to the ten horse wedding dance. Ten ten two ten eight tri cash trifecta. Two ten and the multi race. So good luck to all and please follow me on Twitter at horse racing kid five. Good luck everybody.